Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine um, the intervals of when a graph is increasing or decreasing. Now, when we're talking about the intervals of a graph of increasing and decreasing, you can obviously see the graphs are going to be going up, they're going to go infinitely down. Um, but when we're looking into a graph going up and down, we're looking at like the y values, right? You know, here's the y axis, the f axis, or the f of x axis and the x-axis. You know, it doesn't matter if we're dealing with a function or an equation, but when we're looking at an, when we're looking at a graph, you know, here is our input values, here is our output values. When we're looking at something increasing or decreasing, we're looking at the output, right? The up and down. Is it going up or is the graph going down? So when we're writing the interval when a graph is in, um, going up or down, we're going to be writing the interval based on the x values, going from left to right. So just like we're going to read a book, we're going to start from the left-hand side, and we're going to read the book. We're going to read the graph from left to right. And so, since we're reading left to right, we're going to write our intervals in terms of x. So we start from the farthest left. How far left does this graph go? It goes to negative infinity. So um, I can see though from negative infinity, my graph keeps on increasing. It gets higher and higher and higher, and then it kind of plateaus at this value. So the x value that it plateaus at, I know it's increasing. I'm not concerned about how high it's increasing. I just know that it plateaus. So how, where did it stop increasing? Because it was increasing all the way to a certain x value. What x value did it stop at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's at negative 5. So I can say the graph is increasing from negative infinity to 5. All right. Then you can see that from 5 to this value, the graph is decreasing. Again, I'm not looking at what y value it's, not what it's decreasing to. It's just decreasing from the x value, negative 5, to negative 2. So I can say that the graph is decreasing from the interval, negative 5, to negative 2. However, then the graph starts to go back increasing. So the x values that the graph is increasing from is from negative 2 all the way to 1, 2, 3. So it's also increasing on the intervals negative 2 to 3. And then the x values from, neg from 3 on, it starts decreasing again. Okay, so just, oops, and then that's infinity, so it's not included, so we're going to use parentheses. So just remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're when you're identifying, when we're writing the intervals of increasing or decreasing, we, we're looking for increasing and decreasing at the y values, but we're going to write the intervals of x because we're reading it left to right. What intervals from left to right is the graph increasing decreasing? In this example, this is one that's just very common, and it kind of helps to have a really good idea of this type of function. Um, so this would be, you know, looking at this as a, you know, an exponential function that's going to be like a decay graph. And the graph is decreasing and increasing, and then it looks like it's kind of constant. But knowing, having an understanding of this function knows that even though it looks like it's getting constant, it still is very, very, very slowly decreasing. So from the farthest infinity, from the farthest left, this graph going from left to right is decreasing. So, and that's the only thing it's going to be doing. So it's decreasing from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. So from the farthest left point I can pick, as I start reading it to the right, the graph is decreasing. It's sharply decreasing, and then it's very, 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 very slowly decreasing, but it's still decreasing. Um, however, in these other two examples, you can see I have some straight lines, which would represent a constant change. So again, from negative infinity, this farthest left, as I start going right, you can see that my graph starts decreasing. So from the farthest interval, let's see, I have decreasing. So from the farthest interval of negative infinity, you can see that my graph is increasing all the way to the x value of negative 3. Then from the x value of negative 3 to the x value of 2, my graph is constant. So I can say from negative 3 to positive 2, the graph is constant. Then from the x value of 2, as I move to the right to all the way to infinity, the graph is going to go to, is graph is going to be decreasing. So I could say 2 to infinity. Remember, infinity is not included, so that's why we use in parentheses. Whereas 2 and 3, negative 3, these points are a part of the solution, so they're included. Um, whereas, for instance, here, you can see that this value 2 um, is not included. Okay? So when it's shaded in, it's included. When it's not shaded, it's not included. 
So here again, reading from left to right, the farthest left we can go, we can say decreasing. So the graph is decreasing from negative infinity. And as I follow this rule, it's going to keep on decreasing from negative infinity all the way to the x value of negative 1. However, negative 1 is an open circle, meaning it's not contained. However, as I jump back up to the next function, that point is contained. So from the, negative, from the point of negative 1 to 1, the graph is constant. And those are included, so we're going to use brackets. Then after I'm done at 1, I can jump back down to my next function and continue to ride um, the increasing wave. So I can say from 1, which is not included, on my graph is now increasing as I continue to go to the right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine if a graph is increasing, decreasing, or constant, or how to determine the intervals that a graph is increasing, decreasing, or constant. Thanks.